Hello everybody, this is Imran Jamil once again. This video is a continuation of our last one on mental health and gender stereotypes. However, over here we will talk about some of the toxic traits as well as uh, see how it becomes a battle of cause and effect. When it comes to toxic mentality, the focus is on effect as far as it's related to the actions of others. But when it comes to our own actions, then the focus shifts to the causes that we are always... Uh, talking about what caused us to behave in a certain manner that might not be appropriate. But when it comes to others, only the end result or the action itself is, is considered, which is the effect, and the causes are undermined. So let's take it further and start off from where we left uh, in the last one, and we'll talk about some other specific traits that we uh, find helpful if we can look into each one of them objectively, it may help us deal with uh, toxic people or avoid toxicity for our own selves because we are not immune to any of those traits. Uh, uh, after all, we are all human beings. So let's see uh, what we can come up with and then you can provide feedback and we can take this discussion further. Thank you. There are some other examples of toxic traits that I'm going to go through quickly. Uh, it's already a long video. Number one, negativity. Uh, that a person with negativity may see the world as cold, cruel, and evil. And that's what drives their opinion. That everybody's after something, everybody is out to hurt them. And whether they may be doing the same thing to others unknowingly, that never crosses their mind. So they may frequently complain. And, uh, you know, even when you're having a fun, relaxed time, they may ruin that moment for you just because of that negativity in mind, something negative comes out even uh, in a positive conversation. Then being judgmental. That's another thing that we all have a big issue. Yes, everybody has different experiences. And that's why judgment is something people should refrain from. Everything is a process, right? Everyone is going through a process in life. So don't be judgmental and just outright deny or uh, discard something or somebody. Dishonesty, now that's a subjective matter, more subjective than the, than the other so far. Why? Because we all think we are being honest. Whether we are uh, saying something that we don't mean, whether we are saying something to please somebody, whether we are saying something to uh, get out of a situation, that's all part of it if you think about it. Sometimes it may be harmless, but we have to see that are we honest to ourselves? If we are honest to ourselves, in my view or opinion, then it makes it easy for us to be honest with others. You can fool everybody, but you cannot fool God, as my belief goes. So, in order to fool anybody else, you have to say something that you think is not true, but people believe it. And they may believe it, but inside yourself, you know that what you're saying is, is not an honest statement. So, there are many variations. Like I said, it's subjective. So, think about that. Rigidness, that's another thing. We recognize a lot of times that there is a problem or there are certain solutions that we may have to work on. But we are just rigid because rigidness comes generally through ego and ego is the biggest destroyer of relations and situations. Because if you're an egoistic person, you may not take the right decisions at the right time just because something didn't go the way you planned or you had expected and now you're so rigid that instead of uh, making amends you're just sticking by it so that requires some thoughtfulness that you know uh, rigidness whether you're in a relation again that you're being rigid because you just want to prove to the other person that you're superior or the other person is inferior 
or you're right or and the other person is wrong even knowing the fact that's where you know i think uh, it, it, a lot of problems arise from either rudeness obviously is never appreciated anywhere in the world whether we are ourselves rude or not we can't stand anybody else who's rude to us and there are many forms of rudeness a rudeness i mean in rudeness you don't have to really foul mouth anybody you don't have to really show an attitude or a cold shoulder to to be rude rudeness is much deeper than that right a lot of times not not recognizing what the other person is going through or not treating the other person as we want to be treated is also considered to be rude because you're just being so disillusioned within your frame of mind that in other words you just don't care for the other person lack of empathy for others is is part of that then cynicism every single thing that happens people some people just believe that you know there's a reason for instance if somebody is doing something good to you instead of appreciating that and wasting that opportunity to feel good about somebody else or yourself you start thinking about what's in it for him who cares you know if the situation is favoring you a person is nice uh, being nice to you uh, or things are working out for you why do you have to dig in to bring negativity into play here recklessness obviously that's another human trait that could be just dealing with people situations decisions that don't require a lot of thought into it and recklessness generally occurs because you're careless you know so it's an ever changing scenario in some situations you may be very careful but in others you may just take them lightly and uh, basically not worry about uh, about that too much a lot of times we with with just being so picky in everything that we do in life that sometimes situation is not in our control whether it's the relations whether it's the business whether it's the parenting whether it's uh, social uh, in every aspect being too picky is problematic argumentativeness now again a human trait and some people do a better job at it than the others so for personally and I'll share it with you that I have this issue and I realize that right you know but what happens is sometimes you do it unconsciously but at the time you realize it that's when you have to stop when generally this occurs it occurs because we are trying to convince the other person and make him believe and say that yes we are right and he is wrong a lot of time it just doesn't get anywhere so once you come to a stage where the disagreement is apparent then just move on and that would save a lot of stress to everybody and like i said you know i have noticed that a lot of times i could do a much better job at this so this is one thing that is directly applicable to each person as well so quick to anger another human trait i have noticed that you know this happens to me as well so it also depends on situations in some situations dealing with certain people it doesn't happen as quick as dealing with somebody else that you're fed up with you have to analyze those two situations that why are you able to sustain more than the other situation and not gang get angry in one situation at a much later stage than the other situation that is for you to realize and start thinking about it maybe uh, take some actions breathe deep deep you know if you're uh, in a situation where you can walk out for a little bit do that to relax yourself and anger is nobody's friend and i'm no exception as i said but the other is bossiness now bossiness is again a relative term or could be a relative term 
but it's one of the biggest issues because if two people who are both bossy in a in a situation it becomes that much more difficult to handle if one person is bossy the other person has to understand but the the person who's bossy at some point he's or she's going to have to understand that the other person can't be bowing down at all times but the problem with such people with this particular trait is they their bossiness becomes part of their daily behavior and routine and that's where they start getting a lot of flack and they start feeling a lot more stress and bring a lot more stress to themselves so that is another thing that has to be worked with and it mainly happens not because of a natural tendency but also lack of mutual respect respect the other person you know don't try to boss around just like you would and yes but bossiness at work is required at sometimes even at home somebody has to be in charge you know so it's a relative subjective and a vast topic just bossiness but it's a one of the root causes of a lot of issues because two people specifically if they're married let's say that's a recipe for disaster that in some relations it could work because you have a way out but in some relations the way out is not that easy right so that's where if the realization is not present then it's just uh, going to continue on so i guess these are 12 aspects that we discuss or traits that we discuss today it's about 30 or so traits that we are going to discuss and then once we have a high level understanding we can start talking about them individually so i will end this at at this point and uh, continue on from where we are leaving off hopefully people the purpose of this is the series all has secrets of happiness motivation uh, negativity versus positivity how to be positive things like that I, it's just my own struggle as well as i personally think it's a big huge issue that is ever growing in our communities in our societies in our households and overall in our countries and cultures so we have to at individual level start doing something about it with that being said have a good one take care if you like this video please provide feedback like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon take care